गुड मॉर्निंग माई नेम इज डॉक्टर अजीत कुमार पांडा आई एम रेस्पॉन्सिबल फॉर दिस फ्री इडीए टूल कोर्स विथ मी माय टीम इज अभ्यर्थना विषय शाश्वत महंती एंड गौतम आढ़ी वी हैव डेवलप्ड द कोर्स फॉर दिस फ्री इडीए टूल्स अंडर द एन एम प्रोजेक्ट The project name is Content Generation for E-Learning VLSI and Embedded System Tools. It is a project from NMEICT, National Mission on Education through Information Communication Technology. It is a laboratory course, and as all of you know, the basics basically I would like to tell you. As all of you know, VLSI tools cost high. Few VLSI tools are. कैडेंस मेंटल ग्राफिक्स सिनोसिस फॉर एग्जाम्पल कैडेंस टूल्स विच एक्चुअली आवर इंस्टीट्यूट हेज परचेज हेज कॉस्ट अस अराउंड ट्वेल्व लाख फॉर थ्री इयर्स ए प्राइवेट इंजीनियरिंग कॉलेज और जनरल इंजीनियरिंग कॉलेज पेइंग सम ट्वेल्व लाख रुपीज पर थ्री इयर्स फॉर थ्री इयर्स इज ए डिफिकल्ट टास्क वेर एज भी एल एस आई इज ए डोमेन वेर द इंडस्ट्री नीड्स लॉर्ड्स ऑफ द पीपुल दे आर फोर हाउ द स्टूडेंट्स कैन यूज द भी एल एस आई टूल कीपिंग इट इन माइंड वी हैव ट्राई टू डेवलप द कोर्स मेटेरियल्स एंड द सोल्यूशंस यूजिंग द फ्री टूल्स फ्री भी एल एस आई टूल्स द नंबर ऑफ फ्री भी एल एस आई टूल्स आर अवेलेबल in the market which actually the students should do it and use it but unfortunately the students do not know how to download it how to customize it and how to use it one thing second thing is these free tools are available in linux platforms in many colleges and in many places linux the students do not know in second third year so our aim is to how to understand the linux also and we have developed this course material in such a way that the course and manual is developed in such a way that the students can learn by themselves using the video which actually will be presenting and manual which we have developed as i told you my team is myself dr ajit kumar panda abhyarthana shashwat and gautam what we have done it in this course we have developed the initially we have developed the materials for the linux how to download the ubuntu linux how to install it for that we have manual as well as the video once you have developed it and once you have install it in your computer after that we have gone thoroughly point by point how to design the vlsi circuits we have not gone for the bigger circuits we have taken only the smaller circuits smaller circuits and our basic aim basically in this course is to teach to the students how to use the free idea tools free idea tools we have used magic and irsim therefore slightly in this class for next 10 minutes i will talk what is vlsi what exactly will be doing it then in the next class onwards you will be learning the tools and few of that will be taken by me abhyarthana shashwat and gautam so you know this is the intel processors recent one if you look it uh, and if you see you know the million number of transistors has been used in this one so how to design such big circuits basically cannot be done it in the hand and the people must have to use the some vlsi tools to design it and this is what actually just because to bring it into the course as i showed you the nano structures it means that today's technology is at 18 nanometer technology 35 nanometer technology to have that technology you cannot do it by hands and you must have to use the automatic process 
and VLSI to design this IC VLSI tools are one of the medium through which actually you can design it. The cost and failure rates and all that you know just you can go through these slides at your leisure and you see it. What exactly is the complexity, feature size and all that. I am not talking much on that. This is what the microelectronics evolutions starting from 1947 to 2000 and VLSI we are telling it you know few people talks about ULSI, GSI and all that but all these we call it as the VLSI. Then in microelectronic structures if you go it again you know it will be inner substrate, active substrate, thick film, thin film, then the silicon, gallium arsenides, then MOS, mesh fat, bipolar, CMOS, bi-CMOS, PMOS, TTL, ECL and all that, all that. I want to show you just to say that you know in this course we have developed the materials basically for the yellow shaded regions that in the microelectronics we will take an active substrate of made up of silicon in the MOS and we will be using the CMOS technology. What I want to say here we have developed the course materials for CMOS technology and how to design it using the free EDA tools. These are few points which are not necessary to discuss it again. I want to show you why we use the CMOS technology. Different logics are there but aim of this course is not to go to that theory. So this is one basically I have drawn it in terms of propagation delay and power in terms of propagation delay and power it is basically we have seen it for the gallium arsenides uh, nmos ecl cmos bi cmos so for different technology if we look at you know power and delay basically we will get it like this but to compromise and to have the standards methods basically we have used the cmos technology though gallium arsenide is better technology and this typical ASIC design flow ASIC means application specific integrated circuits the design flow is requirements basically you have to know it behavioral model where we look for the timing area power and all that we do the functional simulations then the RTL model you have to write it RTL simulations VHDL log you have to write it again logic level you have to define it gate level at least you will get it from that timing power and gate level simulation you do it floor planning you do the cheap area then you know place and route then basically interconnect cells and all that you will look for verification and testing you will do it and it goes to the cheap fabrication this is one of the ASIC design flow ASIC design flow. I am not going in details of this one for the time being. We will talk about this later on. But what this is, this is basically a digital flow. Digital flow using the semi custom ASIC design technology. We are not using this technology or this models in our course. The other one is, okay, cheap fabrication, post silicon, and all that. Then you know the specifications, preliminary design you do it after that you do the computer simulations you must have heard you know this type of simulation you might be doing it in using the simul spice which cost money in our case this first we will design the circuits let's say a CMOS then we will do the computer simulation CMOS inverter let's say are we getting the inverter characteristics or not that we will do it by using one free idiot tools called it sim then if it is okay if it is no then again we will go to the preliminary design if it is yes we will go and we will design the layout using magic tool using one tool called magic tool then in layout we will do again the simulations if it is okay fine if it is no there may be problem in my preliminary design there may be my layout design problem and if it is okay we will go for the initial fabrication or whatever it may be that people talk it you know test verifications and okay we will do 
out to this actually. Let's say on a preliminary design computer simulation, we'll do it by using tool called it's a layout design and computer simulation. Basically, we'll do it using magic. Magic. So that's what you see. The job of the VLSI design engineer, highest job opportunity, and our target is this one, this shaded region. This shaded region. Clear? So what we will be doing it? We will be designing a schematic diagram that we will be simulating using simul eSIM. If it is correct, we will design the layout using magic tools. So in this course, basically, we will cover eSIM and magic tools, basically. This is for the digital design, top-down approach, bottom-up approach, but again, you know, let me make it clear, this process we are not following. There are different design methodology, custom design methodology, full custom, full control of design, best results, slowest design process, semi-custom, standard sales, gate average, these are few design. Out of these, PLA, PLD and all that, out of this, basically we will be using the custom methods, where design is full control of design, best result, slowest design process, that's true, but we'll be, in this course, we'll be learning the custom design methodology. We are not going for semi-custom gate array and all that. Classifications of VLSA design in terms of, you know, different ways, based on design, front-end design, back-end design. So, in our course, we'll be covering both front-end design as well as the back-end design. Classification of VLC design, front end, enter the design in one standard format which EDA tools can understand. Again, as I told you, I am not going in the details of this design. Just for the time we understand it, we will be using the front end tools as well as back end tools. So these are on the front end tools in details, which actually gradually we will be covering for the CMOS based design technology. Back end design. This is on back-end design, which we'll be talking about later on. Gradually, you'll know it. This is the whole VLSA design approach. Just you can check it, see it. The total, both customized, semi-customized, everything is there in this design flow and roadmap. We are not covering this one for the time being. So such kind of things, you know, design as it is told it, not possible. Therefore, challenge is how to cope with this design complexity and that, as I told you, can be done it using the VLSI tools. Again, what kind of VLSI tools? No doubt there are commercial VLSI tools like Cadence, Mentor Graphics, Synosis and all that, which cost very high. In our case, the aim of this course is basically to learn the VLSI using freely available electronic design automation tools. So our learning is to basically Schematic to download in one side, the other side is schematic to tap out. As I told, we will not go for schematic to download. We will go for schematic to tap out methodology. And our objective is, let's have a quick lab for the introductions to the software. Text a simple design from schematic to the demo board automatically and give a demonstration. And believe me, from next class onwards, you will see it. We will go by point by point, line by line, so that you don't need any teachers for learning this course. So our learning in this course is schematic to tap out. And objective, theory of simple design. How to design the same using our free tools, magic, and it seems. This is what actually you can see, the beauty of the magic tools. You will learn it, will tell you how this inverter has come. This green one, which you see, you know, is the schematic diagram, you must have understand it. It is the CMOS design, its simulation result below. That actually when you take it into the layout, the right side, the top diagram is called the layout. We'll teach you how to design this layout and how to simulate it. This is a NAND gate. Do you think, have you seen this kind of NAND gate? 
otherwise you learn after the end of this course you learn how actually this NAND gate has been designed it and this is what actually simple 4 bit microprocessors which actually we have designed it our students have designed for this course using the magic tool using the magic tool that the powerful of the magic tools and hence learning the magic tools basically you will get the better understandings of the VLSI design at the initial level I am not telling I am not saying that it is at par with the cadence tools or embedded system tools commercially available tools but it is a learning tools and you will learn it and you know this is the open space we have kept you in this course you will take this microprocessor and maybe that you know you will design the control circuits that's our end. and basic requirements what actually we are looking for it it is not that you should have the PLSI knowledge we are not looking for you should have the this knowledge that knowledge you should have the basic understanding of basic electronic circuit analog electronic circuits digital electronic circuit and it will be better if you have understand the physics of semiconductor devices programming language if you learn it is fine if you don't not necessary so this course is mean for the students those who have done a course on analog electronics and digital electronics with this this introduction I want to end it I will end it the course material is available in our website www.nist.edu you go to there there you see the NPTEL course material it is there in the Sakyat website also and you download it the download it will each of the course is around 10 MB each of this is one 10 MB the course has been delivered as again I tell you by everybody at the end let me say all of you thank you and it is my acknowledgement basically to the NMEICT for providing MHRD for providing this uh, providing the grant to develop this course many people have helped to develop this course and we are thankful to all of them any feedback if you want it you can give it uh, to any feedback you want to give about this course you can give it hkponda at the rate and I stayed at it.